ஹரிஹியோ ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக பெரியவா சரணம் ஸ்ரீ சௌந்தரிய லஹரி எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன் ஆஃப் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் தனோத்து க்ஷேமம் நக தவ வதன சௌந்தரிய லஹரி பரிவாக ஸ்ரோதக சரணி ரிவ சீமந்த சரணிஹி வஹந்தி சிந்தூரம் பிரபல கபரி பார திமிர ம் பிருந்தைஹி பந்தீகிருத்தமிவ நவீனார்க்க கிரணம் வேர்ல்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் ஆஃப் சௌந்தரிய லஹரி டிஸ்கிரைப்ஸ் த கிரேட்னஸ் ஆஃப் த மூலாதார சக்ரா அண்ட் அம்பிகைஸ் லாசிய நடனம் லாசியா டான்ஸ் இன் த சக்ரா இன் யோர் மூலாதார சக்ரா ஐ வர்ஷிப் சமயா சக்தி who has the intent of performing the lasya dance along with navatmanam shiva with nine parts who happily dances the wonderful tandava with nine sentiments this world has acquired a father and mother in these two who have the creation as their only objective and their ultimate quality is compassion verse 42 the first verse of the saundarya lahri part describes ambigais kiritam o the daughter of snowy mountain he who narrates or describes your golden crown with the 12 adityas who have become gems that are densely combined and are placed near to each other will he not compose in the verse that the fragment of moon that can be seen on your head is nothing but a rainbow which is enveloped there as it is variegated by color from the luster of these celestial orbits of the sun verse 43 describes how ambigai's dark beautiful soft hair removes our darkness ignorance may the darkness which is inside all of us be dispelled may all of us be granted well being ambige may the densely grown glossy smooth tresses of your black hair dispel our avidya ignorance instead of experiencing the aroma from a distance the celestial flowers from indra's nandavanam pushpavanam earn and compete with each other to beautify themselves further to make themselves more fragrant verse 44 talks about the line of hair parting and the blessing it bestows on bhaktas let us look at the padacheda and then detailed explanation tanotu kshemam nah tava vadana saundarya lahari parivah srotah saranihi இவ சீமந்த சரணிஹி வஹந்தி சிந்தூரம் பிரபல கபரி பார திமிர துவிஷாம் பிருந்தைஹி பந்தி கிருத்தம் இவ நவீன அர்க்க கிரணம் இட் இஸ் வர்த்தி டு நோட் தட் த நேம் ஆஃப் த ஸ்தோத்ரா இட் செல்ஃப் சௌந்தரிய லஹரி is used by Adi Shankara Bhagavad Pada in this verse the first line tanotu kshemam nah tava vadana saundarya lahari tanotu in the earlier verse it starts with dhunotu may it remove dhvantam nah our darkness ignorance here it starts with the exact opposite tanotu may it grant kshemam nah our well being goodness tava your vadana saundarya lahari vadana is face saundarya lahari the waves of beauty let it grant our well being your wave of facial beauty parivah strotah saranihi iva simanta saranihi 
Parivaha Srotaha indicating a small stream that is overflowing. Saranihi Eva like a path marga. Seemanta Saranihi the central line, the line of hair parting. Vahanti Sinduram Prabala Kabari Bhara Timira Vahanti that which bears Sinduram Kumkumam usually worn by married women as an auspicious symbol. Prabala the great Kabari Bhara the mass of hair. Timira indicating darkness. Dvisham Brindaihi Bandi Kritam Iva Navina Arka Kiranam Dvisham Brindaihi The multitude of foes Bandi Kritam Iva Bandi is capturing as though they are captured Navina Arka Kiranam Navina Newly risen Arka is sun Kiranam by the newly risen ray of sun. Hey Ambike, may your line of hair parting, which is like the path of an overflowing stream from the wave of your facial beauty, which bears the kumkumum, like the ray of newly risen sun, which is as if captured by the great mass of hair, like the multitude of foes in the form of darkness, May that line of hair parting grant our well-being. O mother, let the line parting thine hair, which look like a canal, in Tamil they call it Vaikal, through which the rushing waves of her beauty ebbs, and which on both sides imprisons your kumkumam, which is like a rising sun, by using your hair, which is dark like, the platoon of soldiers of enemy may that parting line protect us and give us peace. Ambigai's face of marvel and glory is like Saundarya Lahari, especially the Seemanta Sarani or the mid partition of the glossy black hair neatly smeared with Sinduram Kumkumam. That hair looks like darkness or avidya smashed by Ushakala Surya, the morning sun, even as the celestial flowers described in the earlier verse are competing to decorate and brighten up Ambike's dark hairdo, which again have a similar purpose of fighting out the dark enemy of ignorance. So there are two things that we have to keep in mind in this shloka. Shankara Bhagavad Pada is requesting that may we be blessed by the parting middle line of Ambigai's hair which appears to be like a canal that carries the overflowing flood of beauty of her face and the streak of kumkumam that adorns the line looks like the rays of rising sun imprisoned as it were by the darkness of the thick locks of hair. While verse 43 spoke in terms of banishing darkness, here the prayer is for the beauty to bless all the bhaktas. It is not a passive picture that is presented here. The last line suggests that there are two groups of people trying hard to keep up at least a streak of visible light, while darkness in its turn is trying to forcibly enter into every nook and corner of our consciousness when it is allowed to be lazy. The anti-darkness gang is clearing the thick forest growth, binding it down on both sides so as to blaze the trail for higher and higher contemplation to follow vertically upwards. A thin line, if it could be marked to indicate the course of the contemplative progress the yogi must follow would in itself constitute a great gain. The beauty of Ambigai's face is not a plain conventional beauty, but something that can burst through barriers and other factors of ignorance, however thick. 
the mixed metaphor here even allows us to imagine that the face could be a lotus lake bordering on a forest touched by the red rays of rising sun situated vertically above it the water in the lake can break its bounds and create a stream vertically ending at a vanishing point where sun's rays stream downwards as indicated in this verse the thickness of the hair represents ignorance while the parting is the vertical line running through all and that abolishes our ignorance tanotu kshemam nah tava vadana saundarya lahari may it grant our well being your wave of facial beauty parivaha srotah saranihi iva simanta saranihi the overflowing stream and the line of hair parting which looks like a path vahanti sinduram prabala kabari bhara timira which bears the kumkumam and the great mass of hair indicating darkness dvisham brindaihi bandikritam iva navina arka kiranam the multitude of foes as if captured by the newly risen ray of sun the corresponding namas from lalita sahasranamam sindura tilakanchita she who wears the sindura dot on her forehead nijarun prabhapura majjat brahmanda mandala she who makes the entire universe immerse in her red color which is like the sun at dawn this shloka can be chanted to deal with all emotional disturbances for good health and longevity thus concludes the explanation of verse 44 of shri saundarya lahari सर्व कृष्णापणमस्तु हरि ओं तत्सत् महापरियवाशरण जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर